Welcome back. I just wanted to show you a video of the, uh, the root rake on the Kubota tractor. Um, I had another video of it, but the, uh, the video turned out, it was kind of turned the wrong way. So um, this would be a little bit better video for you, I think, to watch. And also, the, uh, oh, you know, I want to show you how it might be seals and stuff down. You know, how right in here, I don't know if you can see it in the video or not, but it's really humped up and it's got a lot of uh, some of the stumps were for trees. And uh, I'll use the root rake, and that'll basically use it to flatten it out and get a lot of the um, dirt and put you back in the holes. Just like over here, you can see where we did it already, and it kind of, you know, flattened it out. But uh, it's really, the root rake is a great implement to use it's over here to get all the roots and um, all the limbs and things that are, you know, on the ground and get them up. It's an easier way, it's an easier way to get them. And then basically over here we have a burn pile, and uh, we basically, you know, come over and just drop, lift the uh, rake up and then get the roots off and then put them on the burn pile. So you're able to clean the, you know, clean the property really good and pretty efficient. Um, so look, I'm going to show you how it's used and thank you for watching.
Well, hopefully that video will show you how the root rake works. And I went down a right good size uh, hill here. I mean, it's pretty steep. And uh, you see, as long as you put it in a lower gear and um, this goes slow, the, the rake will actually kind of slow you down as you go down the hill so you can drag the topsoil down. Um, but basically, I'm going to keep doing this uh, over and over until, like, all these roots and stuff down here, they get, uh, you know, cleaned up. So all that so it drags all those roots and things down the hill so you can pick them up easily down here. Uh, also, I knocked a tree down over here, and uh, instead of taking a stump and taking it out and burning it and all that stuff, um, it's good to dig a hole, you know, dig a hole deep. And actually, it's kind of a lot of water in there because it's real pretty close to the pond. But uh, you can dig a hole and then bury your stumps. But uh, the best thing to do, you don't want to bury stumps in a place where you're getting ready to build a house or any kind of structure or anything, but that's kind of why I'm doing it down here. So a lot of these stumps that are in this area, I'm just taking and putting this hole here and then covering them with dirt. And then over time, they'll decay and, and you'll be done with it, you know. So, uh, but uh, hopefully that video will help you and, and, you know, the root rate, it only costs probably around $600. And um, it does a great, you know, like I say, great job. It's got a lot of roots on there right now. And I've had that attached it probably for 20 years. And I first bought my other tractor. Um, I've, I've you know, used it, and it's. I think I paid like $300 for it then, but now it's probably around six, seven hundred dollars now. But um, and also on tractors, I wouldn't get a gigantic tractor, you know, because a lot of times this, this is a 35 horsepower uh, Kubota, and it's the um, the smaller compact size, and it makes it easier so you can actually uh, move around. Um, you know, the woods and your property and everything, a whole lot easier. Um, a lot of times people, they want to enclose cabs and, and all that, which is nice for air conditioner and, uh, and uh, heat, but it, it gets in the way of you can't really move, maneuver around and get into tight spots. So, uh, you know, we got a smaller tractor, but it has a lot more horsepower. I mean, it has like uh, 35.9 horsepower. And um, I know my son, we, we just uh, we started using it today, and he was getting kind of stuck a few more times, and he didn't, we didn't have it in four-wheel drive. So uh, once you have it in a four-wheel drive and also your diff lock in, it's a whole lot more power. So, you know, sometimes you got to make sure you got your, your tractor set up right for the, the right job you're doing. But, um, but thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And like Sam is getting this lot here, uh, the building lot, ready. And um, like I said, it's a beautiful day today. It's, it's probably one of the best days we've had in a couple months because it's been so nasty and rainy and everything. So, and I still have my equipment in the garage working on that and maintaining it and getting it, getting it painted and uh, redone. So I'll be ready to get working. But, uh, so, but, uh, but thanks again. I appreciate you watching.